I do not know how to play the flute. Actually, this is a recorder. But if I did, I would be uh, somebody like Kwai Chain Kane. Kwai Chain Kane dressed like this, and that's how he would have came through this railroad bridge with a bedroll, a hat, a flute, shoes, pants, jacket, handbag with nothing more than maybe a water flask, some medicinal herb, some bread, some cheese, maybe a candle, something like that. He was pretty minimalistic. And I know that's a romanticized version of, of the traveler, somebody that just kind of wanders around. But I've seen guys with less. I've seen guys with just the clothes on their back and a sleeping bag, and that's all they have. Which uh, I think is a little silly because, you know, it's good to be prepared. You might need a first aid kit. You might need, uh, I don't know, you might need a cell phone. Reading material is always nice. Um, I have art supplies. I have a bicycle. And I have the need for bicycle tools and spare parts. And I have a Super 8 camera. Of course, I have this laptop, which I don't need. So I feel like I have a little bit too much on this trip. I feel like I'm a little bit weighed down, and it's, uh, it's affected me more uh, lately because I'm in Vermont, deep, deep in Vermont. And every hill that you go down, you have to go up a hill. So it's, uh, yeah, it's been kind of heavy. And I feel like it would be better to be a little bit more, a little bit more minimalistic. But in any case, uh, mission accomplished, day 18 of the Super 8 voyage. I am now filming the bridge which I most wanted to film. Unfortunately, it was much, much further away than anything else that I wanted to, to record. Uh, it is a train bridge which is no longer active, the Fisher train bridge in Vermont. So the reason I really wanted to come here is so I could do some photography with my Super 8 camera. I climbed up here yesterday, up in the, I guess the rafters, I don't know what they're called, but I did a bunch of photography uh, underneath the bridge and and it's been raining like crazy, so I've been actually hanging out inside this bridge for quite some time out of the rain. And I have uh, quite a few days to spare. I have to be back in Cambridge by September 19th, but uh, it's uh, not even September yet, so I don't know. Um, I kind of like, <laughs> I kind of like want to go back to Cambridge like this, you know, just that being totally free of, of, of all the of the baggage, man, you know, just be minimalistic, but that means I'd have to walk. And I did that 15 years ago. 15 years ago is the first time I came out to New England and I was hitchhiking and then I pretty much looked like this. And I, I had a journal and I was sketching the cover bridges back then, uh, which, which I'd kind of like to do again and which I kind of wanted to do on this trip, but haven't gotten around to doing it. So anyway, um, thanks for, uh, thanks for coming along with me, uh, this far. Day 18.